This is pretty ironic. Just a few seconds ago, I was busy editing, filming and uploading a video of my Hialo Fora mod. And in that video I was uh, complaining that I had no female but three males. And just after shooting the video, a female hatched. I have to be really careful with handling this moth here because it is freshly, freshly hatched from her cocoon and her wings are still very soft. If I would drop her to the floor now, not something I would be inclined to do, then instead of flying to safety with her wings, she would probably fall down and break her wings. When moths are just hatching from their cocoons, their wings are very vulnerable and soft. And it's best recommended not to handle them when they just hatch. So you're saying, Bart, so why are you handling a moth that just hatched if you don't recommend doing it? Well, that's because I have no other choice. Um, I want to pair these moths as fast as possible and that means I need to get them outside. Here we have a cage and in this cage are the three other males that hatch. And I need her to be in this cage together with the males this very night if I want to pair them now. Here you have the three other males. If you want a better video of these males, watch my previous video about them that I just uploaded because I was just busy filming close-ups of them. But now I very gently have to place the female here. Let's hope she will walk off the cocoon herself. She will finish drying her wings here by herself. As you can see the female here is a bit bigger than the males I have. And as you can see her antennae are smaller than the big black antennae of the male. But um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave them in here, not disturb them. I'm going to zip the cage up. Now here you have this rusty old barbecue and <laughs> Sadly, we don't barbecue much anymore. It's a tragedy, I know, I like barbecue. But it's perfect. Because if I unhinge this part here, you get this hook-like appendage. I take this part of the cage, then one of the handles. I put it like, ah, like this. And now the cage here is safely anchored, just to make Sure, let's take this appendage and tie it to this broken old garden chair. There we go. It's safe for the night. I said it before and I'll say it again today. It looks like a curse has been cast upon me because every time I make a video of a lonely single male moth and I upload it, a few moments after a female starts to hatch. And the same just happened with my polyphemus moth. I just uploaded a video of this male. I was talking about how I want to pair this beauty. And guess what? Moments after, he is not single anymore. A female just hatched for him. However, she's still drying her wings and looks a bit weird. But here she is. She's trying to inflate her wings. That's why her wings aren't looking very straight. She's pumping them up and drying them. So it's important not to disturb her too much. But I'm going to place these two together in the same cage. And see what happens tonight. Hopefully they will make some sweet love and produce moth babies for me. So what I do is I take this pop-up breeding cage. I take Carefully take the meal. Don't worry. I know how I should safely handle moths. Whee! There you go. Then I very carefully stick the stick with the female. She's very vulnerable at this moment and needs not be stressed. Her wings look a bit weird to be honest. It's not normal. I hope she will be a normal looking specimen. But even if not, Females with strangely shaped wings can still pair. Ah, going to place her there with stick and all. Tonight she'll probably release some pheromones and call the male here. And we're going to check back tomorrow to see what happens. 
So I placed the cage in here in my trashy looking garden shed. But this is at least protects them from rain. And they still have ventilation, natural airflow. This old thing they're in, this is my old moth breeding cage. This one with shelves. I had it for a few years, but it broke down. So uh, yeah, females still weird looking. The wings are not looking their normal shape. I think she's a little bit malformed. But uh, here we see the male. Well, tomorrow I guess we'll find out what happens to the Columbia and the Polyphemus. Ah, good morning everyone. Now the question will be is, was I successful? I don't know, I'm going to check, but the answer is probably yes. Because of course, I'm a professional. So, let's see what happens here last night. Aha! Do you see that? Yeah, it's a successful pairing of the Anterea polyphemus. As I expected. Now, it could be that when I open this cage they stop pairing because I disturbed them, but that's okay, they already done what they had to do. Ah! As you can see the male is attached to the female, he doesn't even need to grip the surface. So that means, yes, I am going to raise this species this year. This is good news. Now let's check the Hialophora columbia. Aha! Do you see that? Again, success. How could you doubt me after all my videos? Here we see successful pairing of Hialophora columbia. This species pairs very late, around 4 a.m. in the morning. But, uh, yep. Successfully paired both species, so that means I'm going to breed them both. And now you see how I pair my silk moths. If you have trouble pairing silk moths, just copy my method. I always prefer to do it outside, especially if they are polyarctic species. Thanks for watching.